Guardians hosting the Brewers, and the Brewers are plus 100 on the money line. The Guardians are minus 120. Over, under, eight runs. Brewers getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 195, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Guardians laying a run and a half on the run line are my, uh, plus 102, which is really shocking, but... Meaning, if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. Neither one of these pitchers pitched against the opposing team either last year or this year. The Brewers are 5-5 five and five in Peralta's last 10 starts. He's averaging 5 and a third innings pitched and 6.1 strikeouts per game in those games. So you may want to keep an eye out for him on the K-line. Bibby, the Guardians are 4-6 and six in his last 10 starts. He's averaging 5 and a third innings pitched and 5.1 strikeouts per game in those games. So also a batter in innings. So he may be another one of these guys that you want to keep an eye out for on the K-line. Head-to-head, the road team is 6-4. and four. The road team's on a four-game winning streak. These teams are 5-5 five and five against each other in their last 10. The Brewers are on a three-game winning streak against the Guardians. The favorite is 8-2 and two on the money line. The favorite winning these games by two runs or more, laying a run and a half, is 6-4. and four. There have been two one-run games in their last 10 meetings, none in their last four. The under is 5-3-2 and two in their last 10 games. And the under 8 specifically is 5, 2, and 3. Seemingly 8 is the magic number. Either the game goes under or it hits 8. The last game they played against each other, which was yesterday, the Brewers won 7 to 1. Now in their last handful of games overall, Milwaukee is 5 and 5 in their last 10, and the over is 6 and 4 in their last 10. They are 2 and 2 in their last 4 games. 10 runs, 12 runs, 6 runs, 8 runs, 1 run and a loss, 7 runs and a win, 1 run and a loss, 7 runs and a win. So hopefully they don't alternate again and only score 1 run and lose. For the Guardians, dun, 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 dun. they are 5-5 five and five in their last 10. The over is 5-4-1 and one in their last 10 games, and they are 4-1 and one in their last 5. 5 runs, 13 runs, 7 runs, 8 runs, 3 runs and a win, 7 runs and a win, 6 runs and a win, 1 run in a loss. Seemingly, the Brewers play them well. Essentially, both of these pitchers are the exact same guy. I'm going to take the Brewers with the money line. I'm going to take the Brewers getting the runs in this one. And considering both of these pitchers' ERAs, I'm going to go over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.